No chance. Last Saturday night, the Bush Series sort of went back to its roots. Good old short track Saturday night racing. See, hot temperatures, hot action, and hot tempers. And we've already talked to Dale Earnhardt, little E, about the fact that he waited as long as he could and then finally couldn't wait any longer and ended up getting penalized, but he took it like a man. He did. And do you really think, uh, after they were talking to Joe Bessie there, that J Joe said everything he was really thinking? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, now that was the first incident, but in the middle of the race, the tempers did boil over a little bit at South Boston, Virginia last week. Take a look here. The Lance Chevrolet for Jeff Purvis obviously had gotten the tap. He's in the wall. Now that's where it all starts. Now take a look. Moments later on pit road. Here comes Purvis. He taps the back of Mark Green's car. And now suddenly the Jerry Springer show is going to break out. What a melee. Yeah, now what we didn't get to see is the 37 car in the four got into it on the racetrack for several laps. Jeff Purvis was obviously very upset. He comes in here. They start throwing fists, fighting, getting on top of each other. It was... It was crazy in there. I tell you what, NASCAR levied some stiff fines as a result of this. We don't need this for our sport. Someone's going to get hurt, and I think drivers and crew members will think twice before this happens again. I think this must have affected Purvis's vision. He goes after a guy that's about double his size. Come on, Jeff, cool down a little bit. Well, the upshot of all this was that Purvis was suspended for four weeks and fined $5,000. He appealed that fine, and yesterday we were told that uh, they had upheld the four-week suspension and doubled the fine to 10000 So if I'm Jeff Purvis, I don't appeal it anymore. That's going to get a little costly. Think about the four-week suspension, though. That's four weeks that he can't race, no points, zero points. It's like he's not even there. So I mean, that's, just, that's worse than any monetary fine. And ordinarily, I've known Jeff Purvis a long time. He is not a hothead. I mean, he's more, normally pretty laid back and pretty relaxed and stuff. For him to lose his temper, obviously, was a lot more involved than what we saw in that video a moment ago. But, of course, NASCAR made a solid statement with the money and the suspension. And that will certainly get a lot of drivers' attentions. Okay, let's check back into pits once again.